Hi everyone, this is Leah with Scott Leroy Marketing and in today's tip video I'm going to show you how you can export your Zillow leads to a CSV file or an Excel spreadsheet so that you can then send that file over to us so we can import that into your eEdge database for you or your KW Command database. And I'm also going to show you how you can connect your Zillow account to your eEdge CRM so that you can filter leads automatically from Zillow over to your eEdge database. Without having to manually put those in, they will automatically push over to eEdge. One less step for you to worry about. So the first thing that you'll want to do is go to Zillow.com, where I am on my screen, to go ahead and sign in. And you'll see it says sign in on blue in blue on the very top right of your screen. So once I click on sign in, I can go ahead and put in my email address and password associated with my Zillow account as an agent. You'll notice you can always click forgot your password if you need to in blue on the bottom there. And once you have your email address and password entered in, you can go ahead and click sign in, that blue button on the bottom of that screen. Now once you do that, once you sign in, it won't look very different right away, but you will notice on the very top right of your screen it will now say Agent Hub, indicating that you are logged in as the agent on the very top right. And let's go ahead and click on where it says Agent Hub. Now once I click on Agent Hub, again that was on the very top right of my screen there, You'll then notice it says contacts on the top of your screen in blue. Okay, so there's a blue menu bar there that says contacts to access all of your Zillow leads that came in, any contacts that you've gotten from Zillow. Now when I click on Zillow contacts, I'm just going to go ahead and pull this up a little bit to hide any leads, protect this agent here. All right, so you will see all of your contacts displaying right under here. So you'll see the contact status, connection status, if you've reached out to them, time frame, when it's been created, and notes. Okay, and you'll see all that information. Again, I just pulled that up just to protect this agent so that all the leads are hidden. So all you'll need to do on this screen, once you're looking at all of your contacts, and again, I got here by clicking contacts on the top blue toolbar, you'll then just simply want to click export CSV on the very top right. You'll see a button on the very top right that says Export CSV. When you do that, it will let you know that it's exporting your contacts, and it might take a few minutes, especially depending on how many contacts that you do have in here. And when you do that, you should see that file download to your computer. I'm in Chrome, so if you're on Google Chrome, you might see that file on the very bottom of your screen there. And that is an Excel spreadsheet of all of your contacts from Zillow. Any leads that you've gotten from Zillow will display in that CSV file. Now, if you would like for us to import that into your eEdge database or KW Command, if you have access to that, feel free to go ahead and attach this file right here to your uh, to an email and send that to support at scottleroymarketing.com and we'd be happy to go ahead and import that file of all your Zillow contacts into your eEdge database for you. Now that's one way to do it. So we are happy to import all of your contacts from Zillow over into eEdge. And now moving forward, you might want to have it set up so that any contacts or leads that you get from Zillow automatically go into your eEdge database without you having to manually do anything at all. So to do that, uh, let's go ahead and go up to the top right. You'll see maybe your headshot in a circle on the top right with a little drop down arrow. And let's go down to settings. And I'll pull my screen down just a second once we get off this page so you can see a little more here. So let's go ahead and click on settings. So again, click on your headshot in a circle on the top right, the down arrow, and let's click on settings. All right, let's pull this on down here. All right, we're now in your account settings. And again, just now that I have the bigger screen here, click on your headshot on the top right, and we'll select settings from that drop down. Just one more time for you. 
And from here, we'll want to click on Connect to My CRM on the left hand side. So, Connect to My CRM. So, we can connect this to your eEdge database. All right, so you'll notice it says connect your premier agent account to your third party CRM so new leads will be sent to it automatically. One last step for you. So go ahead and click this blue button that says continue to connect to my CRM. And we'll go ahead and click this blue add partner button here. And we're selecting add partner. That blue button on the right, uh, left hand side here. And it will then give you this list here that says select the company that provides your CRM software. Okay. All right, for eEdge, that is Market Leader. That is the company that provides that. So you can click on that list and scroll on down to find Market Leader from that list. We're finding market leader from that list. That is the company that creates the eEdge CRM. And it will then prompt you to put in your market leader email address. So this market leader email address is not necessarily an email address that you use every day. Okay, this uh, eEdge or market leader email address is purely used to send leads from outside sources such as Zillow over to your eEdge database. That is one of the most, the biggest uses of it. Okay, it also sends out marketing material from your database or for, from your account as well. But let me show you how you would access your market leader email address. So I'm going to pull up a new tab here. So I have it already open in a new tab. If you're not familiar on how to add a new tab, you just click the plus sign if you are in Chrome. Okay, so click the plus sign that'll add a new tab. And you'll want to go to mykw.kw.com. Okay, again, that was mykw.kw.com. You should see something similar to my screen. It might prompt you to go ahead and log in if you aren't already. And if you are logging in, feel free to pause the video so you have time to go ahead and log in. You can always pause the video anytime so you can follow along here. And on the top center eEdge control panel box here, let's go ahead and click on where it says new leads. Okay, so you'll see on the top center eEdge control panel box, we have my leads here. And let's click on where it says new leads. Okay, there's that blue link on the top center of your eEdge control panel. We have new leads. From here, once that page loads, it might take a couple seconds for that to load. But we did click on My Leads from the top center eEdge control panel. From here, we'll click on Account on the very top right of your screen. On this gray toolbar, you'll see it says Account. And let's select My Account from that drop down in blue. So again, we're clicking Account on the top right gray toolbar. And then my account from that drop down. From here, you will want to take note of the top section under profile details. You'll see a gray bar that says profile details with your information about your eEdge account here. And you'll notice your eEdge email. This is the information that it wants. That's what Zillow is prompting for. It typically ends in at kwrealty.com unless you have a Market Leader Pro account, then you would have a custom domain there. But go ahead and find the section that says eEdge email in the top left column. And you'll wanna go ahead and copy over this email address. Again, typically ending in at kwrealty.com. If you've never seen that email address before, no worries. Again, this is primarily used for pushing over leads to your CRM or pushing out any marketing emails that you send from your account. All right, but if you're concerned about what email address is displaying to your customers, that is the marketing and reply to email right here. This is what your customers see. Just a quick side note on that. But for this purpose, for this tip video, we'll wanna get that eEdge email address here. 
And we're going to go back to the tab that has Zillow. Okay, look for that Zillow, little Zillow icon on the tab to go back over to your Zillow profile that we were working on. And we'll want to put in that market leader email address right here. Once you do that, again, make sure you put in everything, including at kwrealty.com. And let's go ahead and click Save. Okay, we clicked on Save on the very bottom. Sorry, I know that was a little fast, but we're just clicking on Save, that blue button on the bottom. And you'll see that that has been completed. So now that means that all future leads that you receive from Zillow will automatically push in to your eEdge database. Okay, so past leads from what I've seen will not pull over. So that's when that first part of the tip video will help out where you can export your contacts and we can import those past leads. Again, this portion of it is just for all future leads to automatically push over to eEdge. Pretty cool feature that they have, and uh, not too many steps to set up either. So if you have any questions on that, feel free to go ahead and email us at support at scottleroymarketing.com and we'd be more than happy to help you out. I hope this was helpful and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care, guys.